Hey y'all, hey, we're gonna do some more pureed food. This will be pureed number three. So, I will link above the last two pureed videos that I've done. I just didn't see a whole lot of pureed vlogs out there. For those of us that are on the pureed stage uh, after a vertical sleeve gastrectomy or for whatever reason, it gets really boring, it gets monotonous, and I couldn't find a whole lot of ideas out there. So I'm trying to share everything that I've come up with. All right, y'all, let's make some ham salad. Got my, my handy dandy food processor, some ham, and some condiments. I'm gonna bring you in closer so you can see what I'm doing. I've got my ham cut up. This is just a regular like holiday ham, but not sweet. I didn't get one that had the sugar coating so that it didn't have all the carbs. We've got our ham. And I'm going to use this dill relish. This is just from my local grocery store. There is no sugar in it. Then we are going, I've already pre-measured some mayonnaise. This is two ounces of mayonnaise. We're gonna start with this amount and we'll probably end up adding some more, but we're gonna start there. This is an ounce of the dill pickle relish. We're gonna start with that. And we are gonna get this top on and give it a whirl. We are definitely, definitely gonna need some more mayonnaise. I'm using a coconut oil mayonnaise here. You can use a regular mayo. Just try to get one that has no sugar for sure. I like to use a coconut oil mayonnaise or an avocado oil mayonnaise just because it has less inflammatory issue. And yes, this is making a lot. My family loves ham salad, so they will eat this too. I will just eat a small portion of it. It's pretty well blended, but I think we definitely need more mayo still. I'm gonna taste it. Yeah, definitely needs more seasoning. And just to sweeten it up, I'm just gonna add like a tablespoon of, uh, this is um, Gentle Sweet by Trim Healthy Mama. We're gonna get this just into a bowl and then we'll adjust from there. So y'all, I ended up adding a good bit more mayo and dill. I will put a recipe down below for y'all with exact measurements on how to make a ham salad. But it's really, really simple. You just wanna do it till it's nice and moist. It's not the prettiest looking thing. All right, so I've got everything mixed in. I ended up using the entire jar of these pickles and about a jar of mayonnaise, which was, let's see, 12 ounces of mayonnaise. I had, you know, I had a lot of ham. If you are on early purees, you wanna make sure you puree this really, really well so there's no little pieces of pickles in it. But I am moving more towards a soft stage. I added about half of the jar of the pickles after I took put it in this bowl. So there are definitely little pickle bits in here. Again, if you're on brand new to purees, you probably wanna puree this even more. You could leave the pickles out, but it will make the taste very, very different. So there you go ham salad. All right, we are going to make some cauliflower. This is gonna be like faux mashed potatoes with cauliflower. So this is freshly grated cheese. You can use whatever kind you want. This is Gouda. And I'm also gonna add a little bit of Asiago Parmesan. Asiago Parmesan. This is super simple, y'all. We're gonna take our blender. This is riced cauliflower. It's the bird's, here we go. That's the bird's eye brand, just one bag. And I cooked it for five minutes in the microwave, just follow the directions. And we're gonna put some cheese in. And we're gonna put some milk in. I'm gonna use heavy cream. You are more than welcome to use fat-free milk. Fair Life milk has a good amount of protein. Whatever you want. Salt and pepper. And you can use any kind of seasoning. What, how much, ever much flavor you wanna put in it, go for it. All right, this is Gene Pro. I'm gonna put two scoops of this. Each scoop of Gene Pro is 30 grams, so this is 60 grams going in. And now we are going to blend this up. I'm just gonna put it on my blender here, and then a little bit of butter going in, about half a stick of butter. 
We got that going and we're going to crack two eggs in. One egg and one more. When that is finished, we're going to spray a casserole dish to put some avocado oil in there. Then we're just going to put this whole thing right into here and bake it. It's going to cook the eggs so we're getting a lot of protein. And I'm just going to top it with some more salt and pepper and some more cheese. Any kind of cheese you want, I'm just going to use a little bit of sharp. So it's got the Gruyere and the, not the Gruyere, the Gouda and the Parmesan Asiago. And then we're going to top it with this. So this is definitely more towards the keto side. It's definitely full fat and some calories, but it's also a good bit of protein. And it should taste super yummy. making some broccoli cheese soup and we're going to puree it so it's good for her um, liquid diet thing. Okay, so we need a cup of heavy whipping cream. Got that. Two cups of bone broth. We're using bone broth because it has 10 grams of protein for serving and we need to get our protein in. So two cups of this. We're just going to add a ton of broccoli. It's actually only half a bag. Um, our broccoli is frozen, so it can be fresh. It doesn't have to be. And we're just going to add in a bunch of cheese as well. Because um, we don't really do measurements here in the Yemen household. We will leave the recipe down below, though, if you do do measurements. Fresh onion in here, finely diced, but we don't have that, so we're just gonna get some dried ones. A couple tablespoons. We're gonna do this as well, which is garlic spread and seasoning. And then we're gonna put some salt in and some pepper for seasoning as well. So we're going to add another cup of bone broth in because um, there's not a bunch of liquid in here, if you can see. So we're going to add another cup of this. We're just going to crush the broccoli up a bit. Looks really good, Caroline. Okay, just hit soup and then it's smart, so it'll do the rest. So she hit soup and it's going to count down from 30 minutes. Actually, I think we're not doing soup. We are doing soup, but I think we're going to do 15 minutes. When you're in a rush, you do 15. I think that will be enough. We'll let it make sure that you've got it on sealing on the top and then you just let it go. We made this much broccoli cheese soup. So we made quite a bit of broccoli cheese soup. Let's see, about two quarts, because my daughter's had some of this. So this made two quarts. It tastes really good. To make some cheesecake, little, little cheesecake bites. This is one egg and one yolk. So two yolks and a full egg. Then we're gonna add a block of cream cheese. You could use, you probably could do fat free. I don't know, I'm doing a third fat. So this is a third less fat. Then you need a cup of sour cream. I am doing three fourths of a cup of sour cream, a fourth a cup of vanilla Greek yogurt, 0%. I also added two scoops of Gene Pro to this, so this is gonna give us a lot of protein. So get that in here. We're gonna add a fourth of a cup of, that's gentle sweet. It's a combination of xylitol and erythritol. I'm trying to use it up. Xylitol can spike your blood sugar a little bit, so I'm not gonna use that in the future, but I'm trying to use it up. It calls for half a cup. We're gonna do a fourth of a cup and then taste it in a bit and decide if we wanna add more. Then the next thing that we're gonna add is, it's supposed to have some vanilla and some lemon flavoring, so I'm gonna add this. 
I'm gonna add some squirts of this lemon pound cake. This is just a flavoring by ooooflavors.com. So just a few squeezes of that. And then we're gonna just let the KitchenAid slowly get this blended together. Now I think that's plenty sweet, so we're gonna leave it at that. It is a little bit clumpy, which I was afraid of because my cream cheese was not completely room temperature. It really, really makes a difference if you make it room temperature. I'm gonna scrape it down and we'll try to get it a little smoother, but we may just have a little bit lumpy this time because I was being impatient. You want your oven preheated to 325. This is supposed to make 12 regular sized muffins, but we're gonna pop it in this and do, see how many we get. Here's the cheesecakes out of the oven. They look pretty good. That is what I meal prepped for this week. And also I totally forgot that tomorrow is my weigh-in day. So I will have a chat tomorrow and my official weigh-in and see what I've done in this last week. So I will be doing that tomorrow. So stay tuned for that.